All right, and we're back with kick segment of our front side week. So what we're going to be going over for our front side kicks is a setup in particular, which we're going to be able to then apply to any of our front side kicks that we have. Um, that setup is called a front side pop. And so what that looks like is I'm going to start my body here. You can do this from a Jenga here. You're going to start from a lunge, or you can start from a horse stance, I suppose. But you pivot backwards to a lunge, and you're going to step into this forward front side position. And from here, you're going to jump and spin. Okay? If I go into it with some momentum, it should spin me in a full, full 360 degrees. So from here, this is called the wind-up. This is what everybody always does um, when they're throwing combos or tricks or big aerial off-axis moves. They go here, winding it up. Okay? So here, I'm going to go for my wind-up, jump, and spin. Boom. So that's essentially the movement that we're going to get and apply that to some kicks. So to break that front side pop down, what makes it front side is primarily that your chest is facing forward. Your legs may end up turning backwards a little bit too much or this way a little bit too much, but that's not too important. As long as they're facing somewhere in this range, okay? If your feet are facing this way, it's going to be pretty hard to keep your chest that way because it's naturally going to be in the back side. But I'm going to try to keep my chest in the front side. That's the most important part. So from here in the front side, I want to be able to wind my arms up. So in order to spin, you're going to have one arm in front of you and one arm behind you. And then from here, you kind of squat down and then you switch that. So that front arm becomes the back arm and the back arm becomes the front arm. This is what makes you spin. Also, when you spin, you want to keep your elbows up. I like to say keep them up like a cholo because this is literally what helps you balance um, when you're spinning, and it's also like how Cholo's got that little Cholo lean. <laughs> so here, you're going to wind your arms up, and then you're going to spin and land. Okay? So now if I get that from my wind up, I'm going to go here, wind up, step to my front side. So my wind, when I do my wind up, by the way, my arms are already behind me, so I don't have to do this from here. Do it from over here. So I step to my front side, and then switch my arms around, okay? So I'm going to try that on the other side for you guys. I'm going to go here, wind up, step, and spin, okay? Let's try that again. Wind it up, step, and spin, okay? So let's try that from a little Jenga. Maybe this will make a little more sense. Boom, from here. Boom, step. Spin, you can return to your Jenga, step, spin, return to your Jenga, step, spin, boom, that was just for fun, keep going, let's try it one more, here, boom, awesome, so there's two ways to set up into that front side pop. Your wind up like this, boom, like that, or you could do it from your Jenga. Same thing. But there's a little bit of movement into that wind up. So now, the kicks that we can throw out of that front side pop are any of our front side kicks or our back side kicks. Basically, any kick. Um, so the first one I'm going to start with is our axe kick. So, I can do an axe kick with my left leg, but I can also do one with my right leg. Um, so here, the kick that you would use your axe kick for in your front side pop will be a pop 360. And that one looks like this. Okay? So, that is using my outside leg. And to know the difference between your outside and your inside leg, it's the same way as we did this drill last week in week one for fundamentals, is we have our mea lua, these are inside kicks, and then we have our, our, our queixada, and these are outside kicks. Then we also have other outside kicks, such as armada, compass kick, and then we have other inside kicks, such as a round kick, um, 
or even a Hawkeye, which is a really advanced variation, where you start around and then you throw a hook kick. Um, so we want to know the difference between using an outside axe kick and an inside axe kick. We want to be doing this pop 360 from an outside axe kick. So this is the leg that stays on the outside of my rotation. If I'm spinning to the left, it's the leg on the outside. Okay. So one more time. I'm going to try to show you guys how to do that pop 360 with the axe kick. You're going to step into your front side. You're going to jump with those elbows up while you're spinning. And then your leg has to come up and axe down to finish. So here. Okay. Let's try that on the other side. I'm going to get my wind up here, step, and kick. Okay. The most important part is getting that axe kick down. So if you need to go back to the fundamentals a little bit and drill that axe kick so that you can have a stronger pop 360, then that's going to only benefit you. Okay? So now I can also, instead of doing an axe kick with my outside leg, I can try doing a round kick with my inside leg. And this is going to give me what's called a pop tornado. Okay? So that looks like here. Boom. That one's pretty easy. You don't necessarily have to worry about bringing your leg down. You just have to worry about bringing that leg up. Okay. Uh, let's try that to the other side real quick. So here, boom. All right. Um, and then we also have a hook kick. This one might be a little bit more difficult um, than doing the round kick, but maybe it's easier than doing the axe kick. So this one's about in between. From front side, you jump, once you jump, your knee comes in, and then you shoot it back. Okay? You want to stab that foot at the camera. Whereas the axe kick, you want it to, you it sweeps around and crashes down. And the round kick, it can be a sweeping kick, or it can be a stabbing kick. Okay? So from here, in my front side pop hook kick, I'm going to jump my knee up and then kick back. Okay? So let's do it again. Awesome. So if you want to add into a little wind up into it, it'll make it a little bit easier. So step and then kick. Let's go the other way. If you want a challenge, you can try to do all these front side moves without a wind up, but it is definitely a lot harder. It's more of a challenge for sure. So here, front side to the right. Pop hook kick. Try it with a wind up. So here. Boom. Alright, awesome. So now let's say I want to add in my compass kick. That one might look different. You can try to put in kind of any kick that you know into your front side spin. Okay? So here. Bah. Pretty uncommon. I don't see that. Bah. Very uncommon. So, um, utilizing all these tools, hopefully we can start to create some um, our own things. Be creative within the structure of front side or within the structure of back side or whatever kind of week that we have. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. And um, that wraps up our segment on kicks, front side kicks. Awesome. Next up is our flips.